Good morning, Dr. Lebo, Lebo Gyno, from California, 42-year-old gentleman who had, you know, just, uh, you know, I hate to use what botched, but he had in, indecisive, in whatever uh, surgery about a year ago from a local plastic surgeon in LA, California, where they just, I don't know what they did. They took too much fat out, too much gland out. You know, the gland you gotta get out, but look at this concavity here. And when I call this, he's got like a, like a p pigeon chest here because it's, he's got no volume here to really uh, um, support the nipple and just gave him just too much of what I call a pigeon chest, kind of a, a small chest and he should really have a, uh, you know, just a V shape, bigger on the top, smaller on the bottom. And he's the opposite, he's smaller on the top and they didn't do quite as much uh, appropriate body contouring, uh, surprisingly for a, a, you know, a doctor in LA. And this guy picks him good. He doesn't go to any, you know, uh, schlubby person to do a surgery, but it is what it is. He also had an umbilical hernia when I did his uh, initial consultation, I don't know how many months ago, six months ago or whatever, I noticed a belly button hernia. So he had that repaired a couple of months ago and the scar here kind of out of the, umbilicus, but again, it is what it is. This'll, this'll heal over time, become less red and angry. But what we're gonna do today is Vaser High Definition Power Assisted Lipo Sculpture. No gland, gland is gone, so I don't have to make any more cuts in the nipple except a little access point, two millimeter, to get the port in for the Vaser and the Lipo and the Renuvion J Plasma. Uh, we're absolutely gonna do pectoral lipo filling. Maybe we'll talk to him, do a little bit. He doesn't want his arms done. He's pretty happy with his arms, but maybe I'll do a little delta just give him a little little pop there through the same stealth incision in the armpit here to get the deltoid of course to get the pecs uh, and the stealth incision in the armpit by the nipples inside the upper portion of the belly button to get the midline linea alba uh, the semi lunaris from the nipples and down to the groin a little incision right in the groin to get that great shape uh, and get his six-pack uh, better we were kind of talking about you know, the, uh, the degree of six pack. And initially he said, no, very, very, very subtle, but he showed me a picture of what I did whenever. And he says, I like that. And that was pretty, pretty deep one in my opinion. So I think with him, we're going to give him, you know, quite, uh, um, a good six pack without overdoing any, leaving any fat there. Don't want any, any, you know, squares of fat in there. Do the, uh, the semi lunaris, do the serratus muscles. Absolutely lipophil here, here and here, because he's got no fat lateral to give that great hockey stick look there. Uh, stealth incision also in the, in the uh, groin to get the fupa, the lower abdomen and all the way around to the sides and even turn them on the side to scope the, the lats here and the, the, the flanks and even get to the back as much as we can through my stealth incisions. Don't want to give them any extra incisions here or, or over there because that'll distract from the artist, artistic nature of what I'm going to be doing. So stealth incisions, local anesthesia, vaser, renuvion, lipo filling, uh, we're doing it all uh, to make him uh, thrilled with the results. So uh, let's um, mark him, numb him, and let's go. All right, so I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm framing. All I'm doing now is I'm just framing. This is the framing his, what I want to do. Get the fupa, I want to get the lateral blikes. Now this is a big problem for him, is this. See, he lost all that volume here, all of that.
us begin by introducing ourselves. I am Hans. I'm Dan Franz. And we want to pump you up. All right, we pump you up. All right, so here we are. Again, this is a redo over resected in, in LA by a prominent gynecomastic surgeon. And uh, just over resected, no lipo filling, uh, and really no artistic nature to it. And uh, so what we're doing, elbow straight? Good. Is we're really kind of etching and removing fat from the from this space, what I call the space of hoyas, which is between the pecs and the lats. So three minutes we're doing here. You got it. You heard me? Three minutes. Yeah. You okay? Good. You never that. Using three, two ring long at 70% baser. And beautiful for this is to really etch all of this and keep volume where I want it, remove volume where I don't want it, and add volume where I want to add. One minute, 30 seconds, three, three. Good. Okay. All right, so now I'm in the nipple incision, going down the sides, melting all of this, bringing up the scar tissue from the previous procedure. He's got no glands, so there's no glands to take out. They were actually over-resected and over-lipoed. So we're gonna add fat there, obviously. So here we're just kinda taking the semi-lunaris, which is the lateral end of the, uh, can you tell me two minutes? The lateral edges of the six pack all the way down to the groin and to the hips on this side same thing on the other side and we're going to add we're going to uh, connect them with the lower going up it's just the upper going down One minute for you two. perfect you okay yep now i'm at the top of the six pack and he mentioned it almost seems like it's got, he's got cellulite there. Cellulite. Cellulite, cellulite. And that's just really scar tissue from the previous procedure. So the ultrasound is, number one, men don't have cellulite. Sorry. And number two, cellulite is really more on the butt, buttock. So now I'm on this side. Doing the same thing. There. Get a lot from here. So if I'm in an area that I gotta be cautious out, you'll tell me. You know what I mean? Um, 
Give me two. Give, Give me two, two here. Sure. Alright, so now I'm at the groin incision, going la going lateral. Always protecting the skin. Don't want to burn the skin. When you say overdose, is that something that is just recommended? That All right, guys. So now we're doing the Levo Lipo. So we're starting in the armpit here. Get all that side fat out of here. Nice fat. Don't do anything on the chest. Leave that alone. No lipo on the chest. We want to add it. And we don't want to create a space there. We want to put it in the muscle. So not going to go underneath that nipple at all. Just go gently here. Okay. Around to the side. Come over here. Let's see that lats. Find those lats, baby. This I gotta remove the deep and the superficial fat. Gotta hit the gym, baby. Take a little testosterone. All right, so I'm at the belly button going up. He wants, at first he said I want to be subtle. Then he showed me some pictures of my work. He says, this is what I want, which was not quite so subtle. So. I think it was beautiful work though. Yeah. So way up here, he's I'm gonna Fill the pecs. So I want that male cleavage on him. So here I am through the belly button incision and I'm doing the, the lats. Right there. Go up one. That's the lower lat. I'm sorry, not the lats, the serratus muscles. Sorry about that. I don't even know my anatomy. But I go to the lats of Noah. And I want to dig in there so that it really accentuates that lats because he doesn't have. He's got to do a little bit more workout. Get a personal trainer. He was on testosterone, didn't like it. Not for everybody. That's the beauty of doing it on the local, is that he's up and he's lifting up his arms so I can see where his lats are. You can't feminize a guy, to, you know, you can't, you cannot feminize a guy's hips. If you're not, they still have the, the trochanteric depression. You're not adding fat to the lateral. So you, you cannot feminize a guy's 
waste. There's been all kinds of studies on that. People are afraid they're to feminize their waste. You can't do it. It won't work. All right, guys, so now I'm on the right side. I got uh, over two liters on the, on the right side. Now I'm on the left side. So I'm gonna get another two liters out. Actually, two liters 200, to be exact. So we're working in my self incision, going way down to his hips, getting this deep fat out. It really feels like a pickle. Yeah. So I'm etching the lax here, etching the serratus muscles, the six pack abs. Taking care of all this. Lands were removed at a Previous surgery that in one. California a year ago. I had a little umbilical hernia repaired. I'm sorry. David? I was going to ask him, did he get all the, the glands out? Yeah, the gland is gone. I don't have to go on anything. Gone, gone, gone. And the fold under my nipple. Well, that's because there's no support. And should he should he have done it differently? Would you have suggested to do it a uh, little bit of fat? Or? Either be he did a little too much lipo. Groin incision going up now. Getting that V to P already, he looks amazing. We got, uh, we got out uh, 3,200 so far. Going to somewhere like 45. All right guys. So on this side, I'm doing the serratus muscles. Getting to the lats. His big problem, or his big complaint from his previous surgery from the other doctor in LA is that he left a lot of lateral fat here. A lot of the lateral fat, which we're definitely, definitely getting perfectly. Serratus over here. All right, so he's on his side. I'm using my long four millimeter, extra long 30 degree bent Mercedes to get around and snatch his waist. Snatch that waist. All right, come on. Almost there, almost there. So now we're doing uh, Renuvion by J Plasma. It's helium gas with a radio frequency spark. Things are open. Right there. Alright, let's see. Yeah, turn your head to the right one, right? Thank you. Get right in my stealth incision. See where the muscle is. Right into the muscle. Slow and easy. Start with the fat grafting. Alright.
All right, guys, so now we're doing the delt. Alrighty, Dr. Lebo, Lebo Gyno, 42 year old male from Los Angeles, California, which one year ago had gynecomastia surgery by a prominent gynecomastia surgeon in LA and just botched results. Over a section of the gland, over a section of the fat of the chest, uh, didn't do any vaser, didn't do any Renuvion, did not do any pectoral lipofilling, uh, did nothing of that, just, just pretty much. Uh, just gland and extensive lipo and made him have a concavity which he was very unhappy with. Uh, interviewed a lot of doctors in LA all over the world and selected me uh, to do the work to fix the spot surgery. We did VASER, high definition power system liposculpture. No gland to remove, it was over resected so we didn't remove any gynecomastic gland tissue but we did VASER, high definition lipo of the chest of the abdomen, the sides, the lats, the back, the whole abdomen, top to bottom, neck to nuts, all the way down, did the V to P, the midline linear alba, the semilunaris, the six pack abdomen, um, and all the way to the sides and the fupa in the very lower abdomen. We did pectoral lipofilling, we put in 240 cc's in each pec, and we did deltoid lipofilling, putting in 90 cc's in each deltoid muscle to give him a broad upper body and a little snatched waist down to his back. And we did it all under local anesthesia through stealth incisions. These are the drains, they'll stay in about a week, no drains up on top, and we did it perfectly. So if you have gynecomastia, you had either uh, primary, and you want me to do your primary surgery, one and done, uh, select and call me. If you've had surgery from some other doctor and you're concerned about the results, you call me, Dr. Lebo Gino, 631-424-0101, or email me at jonathanlebowitzmd at gmail.com. Let's go!